Hi, my name is Wang Huang. I'm co-founder to Armorize Technologies. This is our video report of MySQL.com being hacked to serve malware. We'll start the Armorize monitor, which monitors the C drive for the creation of .exe files, and if found, we'll copy them to the file bucket directory. It will also monitor the creation and execution of processes. So we open the file bucket directory here, and then we open Fiddler, which is a free web proxy that would record all of the HTTP traffic while we navigate to a website. And finally, we'll start our Internet Explorer. And as you can see in the monitor, it's already showing me that Fiddler has been started and IE has been started. And now we navigate to the infected website www.mysql.com. So while the browser loads MySQL.com, you can see that Fiddler is recording all of the HTTP traffic. Now let's look at the monitor. You can see that java.exe has been executed, and this is because the browser has hit a Java exploit. And then binary files are created and run, and more binary files are created and run. And then these files are collected into the file bucket directory for future analysis. So to recap, we started Fiddler, we started IE, we navigated to MySQL.com. Uh, the browser hit a Java exploit, and that's why Java.exe was started. And then binary files are created on my hard drive and then executed. Um, and this is absolutely malicious behavior. And it's all happening because simply just uh, because I was visiting MySQL.com without me knowing that this is happening in the background and without me having to click on anything or um, having to approve anything, I've already got malware permanently installed in my machine. So we'll look at how this happened uh, by using the traffic recorded inside Fiddler. So here was our very first request to MySQL.com. Um, the browser then loads this file from MySQL.com, and this is the infected file. It's a part of MySQL.com, and these two lines here that we're highlighting right now are the injected lines, um, lines injected by the attacker. You can see it's very heavily obfuscated JavaScript and pretty lengthy as well. This piece of JavaScript, after deobfuscation and execution, generates an iframe to this .in malicious domain, which then loads this one, the same uh, domain with a 302 redirect to finally the cx.cc uh, exploit domain. So we'll go to the cx.cc exploit domain. This is running the black hole exploit pack. And here is the Java exploit that caused the execution of java.exe. And then finally, led to my browser downloading this piece of binary file. So let's now save it to disk so we can submit it to VirusTotal and also analyze it. Okay, so we minimize Fiddler and let's use Firefox to submit the binary file that we just saved to virus total. That was the binary file that got downloaded and written to disk on my machine and then subsequently got executed. So we'll send it to virus total. View last report. When we first blogged about this, there were uh, four out of 43 vendors on virus total that could detect this particular piece of malware binary. Now there are six out of 43 vendors on VirusTotal. Uh, uh, the number is still low.
And that's it. This is our video report of MySQL.com being hacked to serve malware. For more information, please visit our website at www.almrise.com and more importantly, our blog at blog.almrise.com. Thank you.